What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Black 2 Randomized Nuzlocke All item. A Castellia cone, lovely. Pretty shit, but well. Anyway, um <laughs> Welcome back guys. In the last episode we we actually beat Jimmy the Clay, then we headed over here to the Pokemon World Tournament, and then we battled Team Plasma and scared them off. But that was pretty much it. And that's where we ended up the episode. So we're back and today I'm gonna find a hidden item in the bin, which is a health wing, which isn't that brilliant to be honest, but you know, I'll go with it. It's something at least, guys. It's something. So today we're gonna head out from oh another item. Oh, it's gonna be Oh, it's right under me. I got it. An ice gem. That's that's not brilliant, but okay. Oh, well, let's continue on here. And we can actually get on here, which is the I think it's the Reddick Passage, which we already caught a bug one and we caught um oh, I can't remember what it was. What was it? What was it guys? What was it? It was the what it was. Porygon 2. Porygon Z. Porygon Z. It was the Porygon Z we caught down here. Um, and that was a while back, so. Okay. Good to know. Another entry mission I'm never going to use. So I can't catch any more Pokemon here, unfortunately. But I can go and get some battles done. So let's do that first before we head over to the new routes. My path and yours. They cross here and now. Very poetic, these people. Very, very poetic. I hate poetic people. Not either. No, I hate them. I don't really hate them, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Anyway, Leopard's coming out level 32, which is pretty much the same level as that we are. It's a Pidgeot, oh no, wait. It's a freaking Zoroark. No point using Night Slash, so I may as well use Water Pledge, because I don't think Grass Knot is going to be this powerful. Because Leopard's hardly a heavy Pokemon, eh? Leopard is hardly a heavy Pokemon. Nice and half damage. It's going to Home Claws, but Water Pledge is going to be enough to finish them off in the next turn. Or said next episode, then that would have been a weird. In the next episode, takes me a whole episode just to do you know half damage to a leopard. Man, yeah, I'm powerful, guys. We are nice and boosted experience for Zoroark there. Level 33, and very high special attack too. Scored by landing defeated. Now that I think about it, I've come quite far. I've come quite far too. Ish, I don't know. Okay, let me go and throw Pinky up front now. Let's get there, Pinky up there. Let's go, Pinky. Let's do it. There are going to be hits some hidden items around here, which is probably the main reason I'm coming down here. Teddy Ursa. Unfortunately, said I can't catch you, so I can just mope about how I can't get a Teddy Ursa. <laughs> I want a Teddy Ursa. What's up here? Oh, a hidden item. A yellow shard. This could become helpful eventually. I don't know. Anyway. You. Let's go next hiker or backpacker or whatever. First, one big last gulp. Hold your breath. I'm holding my breath. <gasps> Okay, I'm done. Yes, hold it. Listening to me hold my breath is not really a, a exciting um, commentary, is it? Not really. I'm sorry, guys. I, sh I started, so I finished. I started, so I finished. Anyway, let's get on here and let's finish off with a mud shot. I do believe. Nice and I think it's still super effective. It is indeed. Good, good, good. But not quite four times effective. There we are. Experience and Florentino defeated. Poor, ah, holding your breath is really tough. It wasn't actually that bad. I probably could have gone for longer, but I was just worried the fact that the video was going to be like a whole 30 seconds of Fan Awakening. Brilliant. A whole 30 seconds of complete silence when I uh, hold my breath. Another Pidgeot. Damn, we see so many Pidgeots around, guys. There was some on Desert Route 2, and obviously it was our starter as well. Go over here. There's a Hiker. Hello, Hiker. How are you doing? Hold up. Did you know this path was supposed to be made ages and ages ago? Well, I mean, when else is it going to be made? You know? You know like, when out, you know? Dancer Landon has got a Ghastly. Well, that thing's going to get wrecked by a confusion, so I'm sorry very much, Ghastly, but unfortunately, you're going to go and get killed. Nice and confusion. Boom. Wow. Done. Done, 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 done. We can get some experience and here's a Patrat. I may as well stay in to be honest rather than switch out. It's not much point to switching out to be honest, guys. We have got this. We have got this in the bag. Confusion away. Should probably two hit kill this thing. It might even want to kill it. Uh, okay, it did. Nice and crit. Nice and crit there, guys. That's why I want it killed. Didn't expect to want to kill it otherwise. 
There we are. Okay, let's continue along. Relic Passage. Passage. I can't speak. Okay. And I think this leads us to the area where we were originally. Um, I don't know. A lake that spreads beneath the earth. And a hiker who waits beside it. Very, very poetic and rhymey. It wasn't really a rhyme. It was more of a poem there. Anyway. Here comes Dance and Sonia. They da the dancers, you know, certainly put on some weight. Badoo. Badoo, badoo, badoo. What are we going to badoo with you? Oh, did you get that? Yeah. What are we going to badoo with you? Get? Did you get? No, okay. 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 There goes the badoo. Experience for us. And Pharaoh Seed. We need a fire type move. We have no fire type moves, I don't think, unfortunately. Um, does Pinky have a move to counter it? We have Mudshot, which is going to do neutral. I'm going to stay in. Pharaoh Seed's got nothing against us, to be honest. Wait, what's it going to use? Spikes? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how much Mudshot's going to do. No reasonable amount of damage. And it lowered the speed too. Mirror Shot, that's a steel type move. Uh, that's a reasonably good move, to be honest, but it's not going to do. Oh, that's a crit. Okay, it was a crit. I want to see how much damage Confusion's going to do with the resistance. Pretty much the same as, um, oh shit, Pin Missile's going to be a problem. Oh shit. Nice. Okay. Fucking crits, man. So many crits. Okay, I only hit two times. I'm confident we can uh, last through this. Can mud shot once more, which is gonna not quite take him out, but in the next turn we can. There's a gyro ball. They are pretty slow, so this might do some reasonable damage. It does indeed, since we are a timid nature as well. We are pretty speedy. And there goes the ferro seed. Good, good, good. And level up for Pinky, I do believe. There we are, nice and level 33. Awesome, 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 awesome. Dancer Sonya defeated. You have seized victory with ease, ease young trainer. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me go and switch Pokemon around now. I need to get Abigail out front to level her up. Because she is the only level 32 on the team now. Yes. Uh, is there anything along here? Uh, Psychic there. I can never explore caves very well if, if there's more than one. Oh, a freaking Suicune. Too bad we can't catch any Pokemon here, for God's sake. There's a hidden item there, definitely. A Sand Shrew. Sand Shrew Show Crew. Okay, let me get this. Yep, right there. A Choice Specs. That's powerful. That is powerful. We have a Choice Scarf and a Choice Specs. So, you know. No, 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 no. Don't know why Judith is going to help me, but okay. Okay. Safeguard. I'm fine with that. I'm going to Quick Attack you some more. Flinch. Yes, Quick Murko. Aha! We're going to take you out, Wobbuffet. You shall not end my lock today. Wobbuffet is commonly known as the Lock Ender because it's fucking Destiny Bond shit as well. As, uh... That's the other stuff. I can't remember the other stuff. Okay, another Suicune. Lovely. Boom. Let's run away. No hidden item down here too. Not bad. This guy is going to be... Def he's, gonna, oh, he's, he's defending you guys. I'll borrow, this I'll, bo I'll borrow this rune's power to power up my own psychic powers. Yeah, well done, dude. Well done, dude. <sighs> okay, then. Sailor Sonya. Sailor Sonya. It's got a Dunsparce. Hopefully, uh, Abigail can... Okay, Abigail just leveled up, didn't she? She just did indeed. Let me go for the fly. Get some damage off on this Dunsparce. Get some damage off on this Dunsparce. Trying to paralyze me, I see you, Dunsparce. This thing is reasonably bulky, though, as you can see there. Take down, we avoided, so we can nice and fly now. And hopefully finish them off next turn. They're gonna miss attack again. Oh, they're not gonna roost, for fuck's sake. Really? Are you for real? Okay, speed up a bit. Boom. Paralyze me, thank you, Glare, lovely. Oh shit, that takedown was power. And the flies are fishing off. I had to speed up because of roost. That takedown was damaged, though, with a crit there. Damn. So I couldn't just expect that to make my Pokemon more powerful, too. No, because power has to do with the trainer as well. That's the forever... Oops. Pokemon. Let me go and get... I'm going to get Zoroark up front. I don't know. I'm just feeling Zoroark, guys. Okay, let's get this here. An X accuracy. I'm fine with that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We can go around this thing again. I don't know why they have, like, it's just a shortcut, pretty much. Okay, that's definitely a way to a new place. So there's a Seedra. Oh, not bad, Seedra. If you're a part poison type, I'd take you out of confusion, but you're not. 
I used to think Siege was possibly part or I don't think I we used to I don't think I fought it. I, I I thought there was a possibility, but I don't think I ever actually fought it. Because it's like it's poison stuffy. Oh great, it's a Raichu! Goodbye, Raichu. I don't need your services anymore. Or in the first place at all. What's down here, I wonder? I don't know. I'm getting lost right now. A Tynamo. Oh dear. Little Tynamo. Oh, there's a backpacker. He's lost at the end. He's lost at the end of the cave, it would seem. Hello, Lolo. Hello, Lolo. Okay. Hello, Lolo. Weird. Schoolboy Jessica has got a Lanoon. Haha, <laughs> lovely Lanoon. Nice to meet ya. To meet ya. Nice. Okay. Let's get some nice and. Con oh, okay. Of course, I'm not a fucking actual man. I just get confused. I need to get to the Stealth Rock there. I keep thinking that I'm whatever Pokemon gets actually sent out, like not Zoroark, a Mesprit. Oh my god, okay. Zoroark, use Night Slash. Because obviously I didn't want to use those Stealth Rocks. I kept doing it in grinding the other day too. So annoying. Especially once. Once I actually get hit and my transformation like fades, the moves get reset. So originally where I used Night Slash, it goes to there, but if I'd just been untransformed or unillusionized, I would be on Stealth Rock now. So I would instantly, you know, go instinctively to just press A again, but I would end up using Stealth Rocks. Which is a bit silly, but oh well. Level 34 Pinky, because of that Zoroark boost there. Torment, no thank you, I do not like Torment at all, I'm going to give up on that move straight away. Schoolboy Jessica defeated, I, I, I lost, 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 I, I, I lost, 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 indeed you did. Let me poke one up, and I'm going to get Eloam out front. Eloam pull through, Eloam pull through, I'm guessing there's a hidden item here, there is indeed. It's a muscle wing to increase the attack EVs I think. What's over here, okay, nothing I can see, oh, there's an item up here. Ba -ba -ba. The psychic is guarding it once more. It's coming, it's coming! The ancient spiritual power! Okay, dude. Good to know, you know. And it's good to know. Sailor Scott has got a Drillba. Okay, well that's... Oh, it's not really good for LOM, is it? I think LOM has Grass Knot, though. So I guess we'll see. Intimate's gonna pull through. And it's got... No, Water Pledge. That's even better. Actually, dr Oh, shit. That's bad. That's bad, however. Let me go and switch out into Abigail. Seems that actually Abigail's got nothing there. Pinky has a Levitate, I think, doesn't it? It does. Ha ha! Get wrecked. Get so wrecked. Ha ha! Switching it out. And here comes the drill with a dig. It's not going to affect me. Thank you very much. I'm going to go for the Grass Knot. We are faster. Nice and super effective. How much damage is it going to do? Not too much. Rock Slide. Oh, we avoided it just. I need to heal up. I need to heal up. Um, super Potion, please, on Pinky. Up to 95 health points, because maths is cool, guys, you know. Slash. Crits, I'm calling it. No, no crit, okay. Oops. Okay, Drill was not that heavy, so that's why Grass didn't do too much, so I'm going to confuse it instead. I might be able to take it out from where it is. Ah, oh, come on. It's right on there. Okay. Well, let's swift it and finish it off then. Goodbye, Drill. Nice knowing you, except it wasn't, so yeah. What's up next, I wonder? Experience around. Up next is Sand Isle. Uh, I mean, not great for LOM again, so I'm going to send Nemo out. Nemo's got water pulse, which I think might be enough to take him out in one hit, since it's not evolved. So, should be pretty good, I hope. Sand Isle pull through. And let me get the water pulse off. Let me get that water pulse off. Nice and super effective, and boom, Sandar is gone. Sandar is gone. Experience, and Sailor Scott was defeated. The ancient power, the sacred power of Sacred Fire Negro, maybe. Let's grab this item, which is going to be a bomb mushroom. That's going to sell for a lot of money, I think. Um, and now I'm going to get strength. I'm going to teach strength to someone. Oops, okay. Let me go and find a HM strength. Bump, bump, bump. There you are. I think I'm going to teach it to Elowam. If it can learn it, it can indeed learn it. So I'm going to teach it here. And I'm going to get rid of Vice Grip is, yeah, there's more power than the Vice Grip, so. There we are. Now we have a nice and powerful strength. We can, okay. We can encounter a Sandshrew, apparently. We can use strength on this big boulder to get through this secret door. Wherever this may lead. I wonder where this, le le where in the where this will lead. I don't know. It's, of course, the Relic Castle. We've already caught a Pokemon in Relic Castle as well. So, unfortunately, we can't catch another one here. But we can still go through here. And I think there's an item along the end of here. I'm not quite sure though. 
Oh, of course, this thing is a maze. A, a berry berry. Sweet. Uh, this thing is a maze, I think. Uh, yep, see so yeah. Um, right, okay. What level is this Volcarin? I'm scared of actually talking to this thing because it could be high level. I know in black and white it's a high level Volcarin, but I don't know how high level it is in black to white too. Relic Castle. Boom, let's go. Not, I just want to check the level, guys, so not, I know what I'm getting into here. I don't know what level Pokemon this is going to be. This is a separate encounter, guys, so I can indeed try and catch it, which is cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Black 2 and White 2 Volcarin is level 35. Ooh. It's going to be a, a powerful match, I think, but I'm going to heal up everyone first. Ba, ba, ba. Where are these super potions, though? There they are. Uh, there we are, boom, uh, duh, and, duh, duh. and then have we got normal potions at all, or, I do not, I have a rare candy there, that's pretty cool, did not notice that, okay, uh, super potion, let me just, I don't think it's going to be Volcarin, it should be randomised, so, paralyzed heal up there, okay, let's go on with LOM, let's do it guys, let's see what we can find in this relic castle cave, Volcarina, Hopefully it's something different. I want it to be something different. It's going to be a oh a Luxray. That's not bad. That's powerful. That's powerful, guys. Um, I guess we're fine standing here. The Intimidate is going to help us out. I don't think Luxray is going to have anything against us, so I'm just going to go for the bite and get some damage off. It's faster. We resist the bite though, so that's going to do nothing at all. But I finished. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh shit, the Swagger. The Swagger. The Swagger. The Swagger. B -b 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 Etc. Okay, Alaram, let's do this. Let's break through it. You didn't break through it. You're going to do a lot of damage to yourself there. I need to switch you out now. God damn it. Okay, let's go to someone who can resist. Mud, please. You resist them electric type moves. Let's go to you. Unless they have Ice Fang or Fire Fang, we should be fine here. Or I don't think it po it's Poison Fang or not, but I don't think it does. Oh, damn, it does power, actually. Okay. Um, mud Shot is going to do damage. It's going to slow them as well, and it's going to be super effective. See? Nice and good. And a slow there. Swagger, okay, now I'm going to switch Mud Plays out, because I'm not risking that again. Because if we hit ourselves, and they hit us as well, that's Mud Plays gone, unfortunately. Let me go to someone who is very defensive. Zoroark, how defensive are you? 50. Pinky, you're defensive, but you're weak to bite is the only problem. Great. Nemo, you're weak to edge type moves. Zoroark, I guess we're going to you, because you resist bites. So that's a good thing, actually. And they're most likely going to use bites, because of the fact that we're going to be a mess for it. Yep, there's the bite. We're going to sort of break out the uh, transformation anyway, so that's fine. We have mud. No, we don't have mud right here. Um, I'm going to go for the water pledge. I think it's going to take him out. Hopefully it won't take him out because I want a nice Luxray. Didn't take him out. Sweet. And I got some half points back from Shell Bell. Bite. Okay, that's not doing much damage. So let's go for the capture, guys. Let's go for this capture, though. Uh, I'm not going to mess around, to be honest. I'm going to go straight for this great ball. See if we can catch it in one of these rather than throw the normal Pokeball. I want some Ultra Balls. One. Two. Three. Yes! First time round we got a Luxray. We got a Luxray. Okay, sweet. What have we got? The Gleam Eyes Pokemon. It can see clearly through walls to track down its prey and seek its lost young. Yes. Why does it lose its young now? Okay, when we in into staying, I am going to call it Sin because I know a YouTube friend of mine called Sin of Vengeance, whose um, mascot is actually a Shinx, I think it is, or you know, the whole family. So that's that done there, guys. He's going to get to PC. We might switch a Pokemon out here. I'm not sure. The team's looking pretty solid at the moment, to be honest. We have, you know, reasonable types, so. Um, I'm going to put Pinky up front, I guess. And we'll explore the rest of Relic Castle and see if there's anything else we need to find inside here. We also found a Plusul. Obviously, you already got a Pokemon here, though, so... It's still Relic Castle, even though it's a different section of it. Because I don't think these two are... This, this bit's connected to the first one. Let's just go and check what's down here. Yep. It's going to be... Really? Fine. Palpitoad. Grass Knot to get some experience. Almost in one, two. Damn, not bad. Let me Swift to finish up. Boom, goodbye Palpitoad, experience, and we have found a Max Ether. So that's not brilliant, but it's not bad either. I'm not going to complain there. What's up next? A Azumarill, or an Azumarill rather. Not bad, not bad. Well, that's it for Relic Castle, I do believe. So let's 
you know, finish up the rest of Relic Passage if we can. Um, am I going to find my way back out successfully? Or am I going to just die in here? Now we found our way out. Good, good, good. You're done. Um, God's sake. Tynemo, go away. Just keep it running, guys. Keep it running. There's an item over here, apparently. Um, okay. What? A Cradley, not bad. Not even bad. Okay, where is it? It's in the wall somewhere here. It's got to be in the wall somewhere here, hasn't it? Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. For God's sake, a shield on. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. What the hell? Is there another bit around that I can't get to it? Unless, so let's run up here. Okay, I might be able to go down again, so that's where the item will be. Let's speed this up. The Tranquil. Are we all back to the first area we were in when we were there in a, from the cave, the place? I don't know. I can't remember what it's called, guys. Let's quickly strength up here. Dun, dun. Sweet. And let's check what's up here first off. A crocodile! Oh damn, we could have got a crocodile here. That's powerful. It's powerful. Okay, I'm guessing we're gonna go down here again. Yes, we are. Or in a, in a door, etc. Fuck my life. There's a lot of items. A soft sand, which is gonna be good. It's you know bad. Obviously, there's an item here, which is gonna be inquiry mail, which sucks ass. So all that for that. A shock drive, which is gonna is that again for so much Genesec stuff and a yellow scarf. What does how does a yellow scarf do? I want to see what a yellow scarf does. Etc. Okay. Uh, shock drive. Yep. Genesec yellow scarf boosts the tough aspect of the hold in the contest. So it's completely fucking useless. Brilliant. Okay. Last well, we found a Wobbuffet. No, 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 no. For God's sake. Okay. Swift you. Destiny bond. Another swift is not going to kill you. So I don't have to worry about destiny bond. I'm pretty sure mud shots not I'm gonna switch out actually fuck it. Has anyone got anything that can counter a fucking piece of shit? Um pursuit? Whirlpool? Yeah, Whirlpool could technically counter it. But I think Zora might just be able to like finish it off from where it is. I'll cap fucking course. A fucking course, guys. Okay, well this isn't gonna do much, is it? Nope. Safeguard. And now I can finish them off with Swift. Boom! Goodbye, Wobbuffet. Goodbye. Nice encounter. Let's get, hell, get the hell out of that area. Oh. Shit, my life. What's it going to be? A Fampy. Run away from the Fampy. Indeed. No mercy, guys. No mercy. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure if I jump across these ledges here, I just end up back in the first area. So I think if I jump across this ledge, I get a little extra shit. Yes, I do. Hey, black glasses. Nice and dark type move. And now I think if I jump over here, I end up back where we were, yep, originally. Oh my god. Tranquil, go the fuck away. Thank you. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Just down here, and then we can exit hint here to arrive in the Castellia sewers. Yep, not much happening here, really, because we can't do anything, because we still don't have Surf, and it's not a different month, so. Just run away from this Gorbis. And in before Curum. Nope, not quite. Okay, well, I'm just going to quickly fly with my Abigail. Can I, I can use fire. Over back over to Driftvale City quickly. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to run in here, heal up. But I think that's where I'm going to end today's episode, to be honest. Because we did do a lot today. We cleared out the whole area there. Got loads of items as well. And we also caught that Luxray, which is going to be quite powerful if we have, have to use it on the team. Well, I guess we will at some point. But, guys, in the next episode, I will be heading over towards... Uh, towards... Uh, well, towards Chargestone Cave. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to hit the like button down below and leave a comment saying or answering the question there, rather. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friends.